One of the biggest requests we've had from teachers has been whether or not if they can use Docent EDU with a Google Doc, and you sure can. So uh, here is chapter one of Call of the Wild. I got it off of uh, literature.org. Um, and so to use this with Docent, you can't use it right on this page. What you need to do is publish your Google Doc. So click on File, Publish to Web. Uh, and right here, it's going to then publish. And so what this will do is this essentially is now treating the page like a, or your doc like a regular web page. And so this is the link that we have. Uh, so I'm going to copy that and paste this into a new tab. This is what you'd share with your students. And you can see now here is your text. Um, so this is chapter one called The Wild. And from here, you can now load in the Docent EDU toolbar showing up over on the left-hand side, and you can now add questions. Um, because there's no formatting on the left side, you can always minimize the toolbar down so you can view all the text right there, bring that back out. Um, so one of the things I want to put on here right away, so now we can use all the tools of Docent EDU, but um, adding in like an audiobook, some narration of it um, is really important for some of my students. So I found this um, uh, free uh, reading of chapter one called The Wild. The Call of the Wild. Uh, so it goes through um, by LibriVox, it's available for free, so I'm going to just copy this URL and heading back over here, um, I'll now add in a new sticky and I want to go ahead and just embed this up at the top, so I'll put it right after where it says Jack London, I'll paste in the URL and there it is. So now uh, when students click on that, they'll be able to hear a, um, a narration of an actual person, not computer generated that will go through the text. You can find these from most text that's out there. And now let's go ahead and add in um, some narration, some questions. Um, so in this text, they talk about the yellow metal. Uh, so I'm just going to highlight that one. And I'm going to add in our first question of after this paragraph, they kind of talk about um, requiring um, these strong, heavy dogs. And so um, why do you think these kinds of dogs are needed? I'll click create. And so now you can go through and docent uh, your entire chapter. Um, you can put a link to the next chapter at the end of it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this one by now assigning it to my class. So down here, literature. And there it is. Um, so that is how you can use docent edu with any Google Doc that you currently have.